let's write a program that takes in a person's age in years and then it'll output the total number of days they've lived and the total number of hours they have lived. Take in um, age in years and then we're going to output total number of days lived and then separately we're going to output total number of hours lived. Alright, so let's start off with this pseudocode and what we'll do is we'll start by getting our int main so all this will be inside of int main close brace and of course return zero so we've got our skeleton program so let's just test it out no new line at end of file is a warning that G++ sometimes gives not a big deal all you do is add a new line save recompile no errors no warnings this time let's go ahead and run that compiled a dot out executable and as expected um, program doesn't do anything all it does right now is return zero so that's great so let's take in age and years so we need some variable here an int and we'll call it years and we need to get the input of age and years so let's use cn to get that input in years all right, save, compile. We have an error. CN was not declared in this scope. Um, that's because we forgot to have the include of IOStream. I'll spell that correctly. Include IOStream, save, compile. Still not declared because we need to be using the namespace STD as well. So we need both include of IOStream and we need to be using the namespace STD in order to use CN. So we'll save once again and then compile. Good. And let's run the executable. It's waiting. So I'll just put in a number, let's say 5. Okay, well, we need some more context here. So we're taking in the age and years. I'm going to put a tab which makes that look nicer and let's get some context which is how many years old are you okay save compile execute how many years old are you I happen to be 28 all right no problems um, let's make sure that our variable years is actually correctly getting the input. We're correctly getting the number typed by the user and it's correctly stored into years. We can test that by outputting years. Save, compile, execute, let's say 28, and there was 28 down here. Well, let's go ahead and start working on this next task. Let's get the output total number of days lived, which is really just years times the number of days in a year. So we'll just say 365. Technically, right, there's leap year and all that. That's okay. We'll just say 365. That'll be good enough. Let's save, compile, execute. How old are you? 28. So 10,220 days. All right, well, we need to give this more context. So first of all, we need to say what is the units. So it'll be in days. I'm going to put a new line at the end. So let's get days. How old are you? 28. Okay, good. So 10,028 days. Well, what does it mean? Um, let's just throw in a little here. You have lived for at least then it'll say how many days. So I save, compile, execute. You have lived for at least 10,220 days. Cool. Okay, that makes sense. Now let's output the total number of hours lived. So I'm going to use a similar uh, format, which is you have lived for at least, and this time, we'll say, so you got the years, 
it's 365 to make it into days, and then there's 24 hours a day. And let's give the context of hours. Okay, that looks about the same here. I could have just copy pasted, um, would have saved me time. But let's just save, file, compile. Oh, we have an error, line 17. There's an error, year was not declared in this scope. So line 17 says year. I thought we've been year, using year all along. What's, oh, it's years. Here, years with an S. Okay, add the S. Save. Compile. Okay, compiles. <laughs> That's good. But we have to check to see if it's correct. So if you're 28, you've lived for about that many days, and then 24 times that into hours. Yeah, it looks good. Excellent. Thank you.